And welcome back, everyone, to Who Would Win. I got the week of what if this week, so it's good. And it's Christmas <laughs> this week, so got a lot to do this week. Uh, this one comes to us from, and if I actually wrote this down right, I believe the name of this person is Remarkable. I'll have to double check that to be sure, but Remarkable. Who asked the question, who would a fight? Yaucha, a Prider, versus Captain America. Um, so, th this is not as clear cut as you might think. In fact, this is actually a pretty decent matchup. Uh, obviously, we know what the Yaucha, at this point, the Predator movies have been around for 80. I'm trying, actually, let me do the math on that real quick. 87, uh, 10, 20, 30. Ooh, going on 35 years, roughly speaking. 35, 36, give or take. Years of Predator. And comics and novels. So we know what the Predator are. The Yaucha species is a hunter warrior race from their own planet. Yaucha Prime, I think, is the name of the actual planet. And they go to different planets to basically hunt. Sometimes it's just animals, sometimes it's the most dangerous prey of all. Man. Uh, Captain America is a super soldier, the, the first super soldier created in World War II to help fight the Nazis. And he was uh, resounding success. Obviously, he also wound up in the ice, was he th uh, thought out later on into the present and he's captain america we know steve rogers story at this point thanks to the mcu there's some minor tweaks here and there if you go into the comics but the mcu pretty much nailed his origin on the head so i mean this is kind of like a stat to stat comparison because these guys are actually pretty evenly matched if we're looking at just physicality just physicality alone um captain america actually edges out most yauchas in physicality captain america is on the low tier of superhuman like in terms of super strength when i say low tier i don't mean like hey he can lift a couple hundred pounds which uh, over his head no pro or one arm he can one arm a man no problem honestly even a well-trained athlete can uh, can do that without, uh, without too much difficulty no he is actually his body's actually pushed to the actual peak of human you know physicality which puts him on the very low end of superhuman i think i'm trying to remember exactly what his actual weight limitations are but you know even if we go to the mcu we've seen him do some seriously impressive feats including knocking men straight off a uh, a boat just with momentum alone he's actually kept a helicopter from leaving a helicopter pad before granted he was struggling doing that but he did it uh he can most i believe he can lift in like the low one ton range not quite a ton but he can lift quite a bit he can strike and break a man's neck if he wants to he is extremely physically capable whereas a Yaucha's on average, they are stronger than the average human by a large margin, but they're not lifting in the tens or even multiples of tons. Uh, at least nothing I've ever read or seen has shown that. Maybe if someone wants to point out a comic where they did do that, that's fine. They are still ultimately well beyond our physicality, though, including, you know, Agile. They're surprisingly, deceptively fast and extremely dense and bulky. They can take a lot of damage. Cap can also take quite a bit of hits, but even though he does have a bit of a healing factor, it's not like he can take a bullet and just keep going as easy as, say, the Ouchie can. The Ouchies can actually take multiple sh uh, shots from, a, like, a shotgun and more or less walk it off. Granted, they still hurt. They still feel pain. We see this in Predator 2 where uh, Donald Glover, and sorry, Danny Glover, I always, get to, <laughs> I always have to remember that there's Donald and there's Danny, but we're, uh, Danny Glover, you know, unloads into the damn thing, and he goes down, and he gets back up. And granted, he's hurt, he's bleeding, but he just he can just keep fighting the way he was fighting. He did have to use some medical, um, uh, he did have to uh, use do some medical like uh, first aid on himself, but that was actually more for his hand than anything else. Yeah, he did kind of rub it on the wounds, like cauterize it, but still, he he took the shots. Cap can take low-level gunfire, but if he took a shotgun to the chest, his, as strong as he is and durable as he is, he's not really going to be able to do much after that. Um, Agility-wise, these two are probably on par, although Cap might be the slate faster, as the Predators are also naturally larger than we are. Cap is like your standard six foot, I can't remember, he's like six foot two, six foot five, whatever, weighing like 200 and some odd pounds. The Predator is usually more heavier, uh, larger than that. Uh, but that, but really, at that point now, you have to go into the other things. You can't just go into their physicality. You have to go into what they bring to the table in an actual fight. It's fighting style, equipment, things along those lines. And in that regard, the only thing that Cap may have an edge over the Yaucha in is actual training. 
he is a he is a adept martial artist. He knows how to fight hand to hand. His shield is vibra is a vibranium iron mix. It cannot be destroyed, um, except for like you know matter manipulation, all that kind of stuff. But unless you're going back to maybe World War II where he did, I think, carry a firearm occasionally, at least in the MCU he did, uh, he doesn't bring much else to the table. He does have body armor, and it's pretty good body armor, but he's, that's all he had. He has a shield, body armor, his, tac his tactical wits, and his skill. This is where Yaucha kind of really takes the edge over Captain America. Uh, and that, granted, it would also depend on what type of Yaucha we're looking at. And I don't mean species, I mean... Where they rank in their society. A young blood who has not been, uh, you know, blooded yet. Who has not done their hunt for a xenomorph yet. Uh, you know, you know, experienced seasoned warrior. You know, a specialist like the wolf was in AVP Requiem. An elder. It's It does vary a little bit. But we're looking at, like, say, a standard one. Not a young blood, but an elder. <laughs> oh, excuse me. A standard one. There are most most Yaucha generally are are trained from birth A to hunt, B to stealth, and C to fight. Now, granted, we have never really seen like say fighting styles with predators, like if they know actual combat styles, martial arts of their own race or whatever. Usually, it's more like a feral brawler style of fighting. You know, just you know getting the blades, grabbing, punching, whatever. So, when it comes to finesse, cat may have the advantage, but the predators, A, or the outcha, are long-lived. They live a long time. And so, even a basic hunter has lived a lot longer than Cap has. Now, Cap is technically... Ooh, how old is actually Cap? Because he's... I think he's, like, in his tw uh, 20s when he goes into the ice. And then he wakes up 70 some. He's, like, in his 90s to 100s. But remember, he spent 70 of those years sleeping. So... Yaucha honestly could beat a hundred and spend all that time, you know, kicking ass and taking names and then mounting the names on his wall. So Yaucha, in terms of experience, would most likely have the edge. And in terms of equipment, look, the Yaucha doesn't society doesn't really have anything as effective or durable as a vibranium mixed shield. Their weapons are made of a mysterious alloy we don't know about. We don't know what it is. It doesn't fit our periodic table. And I remember reading a good fanfic at one point. It was like a one-shot fanfic. No, yeah. I mean, it was a few chapters, but it was really just Wolverine fighting a Predator, which, why do we never got that crossover? I have no idea. The Predators fought Batman and Superman and all that. But uh, Wolverine fighting a Predator. And in the comic, the Predator in his inner monologue notes that this thing's, you know, this creature's bones are made of adamantium. That's what my staff's made out of. You know, it's the best stuff that there is, except for vibranium, but only the elders get that. Like, in theory, if you could prove that the Yaucha, you know, um, and Predators uh, take place in the Marvel Universe, you can make the argument their weapons are made of that stuff, because we know it's harder than steel. But because we don't have that, I can't say it's harder than vibranium. So they don't have anything as good as Cap Shield. But if you're asking about sheer variety, they have camouflage. They can see in multiple color spectrums, light spectrums. And they can, again, they bend light for camouflage. They have multiple armor of their own. It's more ceremonial or, you know, just cultural than actually functioning, but it still functions when it gets hit. They obviously have their wrist gauntlets, which have multiple things, including a, um, including the famous wrist blade, the bomb, uh, able to fire a net that actually cuts through individuals as it, you know, starts to twist. It's like weird, like burning garot wire acids. I don't I have no idea what it was exactly. It was like burning the way it worked. Um, but uh, so, I mean, and that's just the stuff that they normally keep their wrist uh, gauntlet. And that's just the stuff I remember. Then you have what? You have, they have combi sticks or giant spears. They have the cool shurikens you got in AVP. Um, AVP. Uh, they have the, tra uh, I don't remember what it was called, homing disc or whatever, the homing bladed disc they had in Predator 2. Uh, they have the ceremonial knife. Uh, in the games, you add even more on there. They have the plasma caster, obviously. They have the energy site, like that belonged to a specific clan, but still. Variety, that's all the stuff I'm just remembering. There's a lot more in the lore out there, too. So, these guys, the Predators are just way more equipped than Cap is in, a, in this scenario. So, ultimately, uh, who would win in the confrontation? Well, clearly Cap would be the hunted in this scenario. I think I don't think any of us are going to argue that's how this... To, any scenario involving a predator involves them most likely hunting the opposition. There you go. 
Now, Cap is not going to just uh, be completely uh, uh, naive to the fact that he's going to be hunted. I think Cap, Cap is more than smart enough to realize, hey, something's been tracking me for a while. And, you know, he eventually probably calls the Predator out. He's like, yeah, that calls the Predator out. And maybe the Predator doesn't, like, move or anything. He's like, anything, let's say, move at first. And I think, you know, he doesn't know I'm here. And then maybe Cap finds, like, that's, so that's where you are. And the Predator's like, well, he found me. Oh, well. And then all of a sudden, you know, he aims the plasma caster at him. And, you know, he comes in. Cap blocks it. Just, ah! The Predator's like, oh interesting and all of a sudden he throws up maybe some shurikens cap again blocks blocks but now all of a sudden the net comes out and you know, he tries to catch cap or he can maybe he catches cap but the problem with the net for the net is it's not going to be able to get through the vibranium shield so even though it's cutting through his armor and cutting into his flesh to a certain degree it can't cut through with the shield and the edge of the shield can easily be used as a cutting utensil so the predator is like walking up and he's like, well, that was kind of, that was a little bit challenging, but not too difficult. Wait a minute. And then, you know, it captures like, Argh! and then it just it comes in and the predator has to now block, just, you know, just roars out, just Argh! the predator roar. And then he just, you know, and so Cap and him are now duking it out in a no holds bar hand to hand fight, throwing a plasma caster at him, trying to turn invisible, but, you know, Cap, Cap maybe breaks the, um, the, um, the camouflage maybe disrupts it so Predator can't use it. Uh, they're you know down and then it basically comes down to an actual straight physical fight. So as I said, I do think Cap has the edge when it comes to physicality and actual finesse as a fighter. But that doesn't mean the Predator comes up short is like severely short on that regard either. If let's say Cap is here at the top, the Predator is coming well above fifty percent of him. Like they're they're still relatively evenly matched with Cap, Cap having a comfortable edge so they're going to be duking it out for a, a while you know the predator comes in ultimately the predator because the predator has a size advantage though and cap goes to block this time the predator grabs the shield and yanks it out of his arm so now cap's gotta be like Ugh, and he just grabs the predator's wrist and just has to hold it there and just Ugh. and then the predator on arm comes up so him and the predator are now locked in a heated just Ugh. And the predator just roars at him, and the probably and Cap if goes and just goes to kick him and kicks him back. He pulls out probably a con, the combi spear. Cap goes for his shield, throws the shield, throws the spear, blocks with the shield. The predator gets his wrist gauntlet again, and they just go toe to toe again. Ultimately, this would just go on for a good while. It would just come down to who is going to tire the other out first and then get the lucky shot in. Now the. Unfortunate thing for Yaucha here is we know they have good stamina, but Cap is a super soldier and can go fighting for a while. Cap has gone toe to toe and kicked the Hulk in the nads for God's sake. He has actually fought individuals one on one, more powerful than Yaucha, Yaucha on multiple occasions. Uh, now that doesn't necessarily mean that the Yaucha wouldn't win or couldn't win certain scenarios. It's just that because it's not solely about your physicality or your power; it's about how you fight, your mentality, all that. And the and Yaucha are a proud, you know, almost like samurai like kind of warrior race to some degree. So I I see it ultimately coming down to the fact though that the Yaucha probably would start to just he'd start to be running out of gas in the tank after a while. Whereas Cap, having enhanced his stamina and durability, would be able to continue fighting for a longer amount of time. And ultimately it would come down to them clashing one more time. I think the Predator, though, at this point, would actually be able to run uh, Steve through. Steve's able to avoid a lethal hit. Maybe get hit in the liver or something. Just, uh, and he just, ah! Uh, and then Steve just comes in and just, uh, and just cracks him right with the shield in the neck, and the Predator just drops. Just, uh, and the Predator's barely able to move. Basically, Cap would have broken his neck. And even though their bones and body are more denser than ours, it's vibrating him on an edge. It's going to break a neck normally. And the Predator is amazing. It's amazing that the Predator is even still alive. And Steve's even noting that the house is thing even still moving. And the Predator bar is barely able to be like, get to his wrist going and just, it's like, it's over. It's like, enough, it's over. It's over. <laughs> Uh, and just, you know, I mean, you know, you throw the Billy laugh in there too. Maybe I hunted a person on this planet who did that. Maybe, uh, who knows? Just, <laughs> and Cap has to, you know, get out of the way. Fortunately, his shield can take the impact. He just, boom. And so he walks away the victor. I think the, uh, 
the cap is certainly a little too much for your average Yautja. An elder, maybe, but your average Yautja, probably not. That's not to say that the Yautja would win 100% of the time. In fact, there's probably a good, I don't know, I don't do the percentages anymore, but 20 to 30% chance a Predator could beat Cap in a fight. It really would just be who's going to either tire out the other first, or who's going to get those major, serious, important hits in on the other first. And because of the size and greater length of training that uh, the Predator has had, given its culture, and the fact they live a lot longer... It's certainly kept possible and feasible that the Predator could get many percentages of wins in on Cap. But Cap's better physicality, more specific training, I think is the best way to put it. Again, especially in a one-on-one -on -one combat scenario. And the fact that Vibranium Shield just can't be destroyed by anything that the Predator has. I would go Captain America in this fight. This is, though, just my opinion. What do you think of the comments below? Let me know. Until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you folks. One more the next one. Have a good one.